Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Comfort Level Podcast. I'm Maddie, and I'm here with... Sam. Brit. Oh, oh, I didn't know who was doing it. I didn't it. know either. I was <laughs> like, what is happening right now? Yeah, today is a little bit of a weird episode, because instead of going from different story to different story, yeah. we are going to listen to a story that has so many updates that it's worth a whole episode. <gasps> so, story plus updates. Oh. Am I the asshole? Husband accused me of financial infidelity. <laughs> financial infidelity. Yes. You cheated on me with your money. <laughs> Is that the thing? If we had an agreement about our money and you did, you didn't do that. You did something else. That's infidelity. That's, that's infidelity. basically what the story's okay. about. Yeah, I, I, my mind went somewhere completely different. I thought he was there like, is, "What is it? Fendom." What where, is that? Oh, you pay. You you let yeah. someone spend your money. You you get off on people spending your money and you don't have control over it. So like a rich person gives you their credit card and you're just like, I'm buying a dress, I'm buying a TV, and that's and then what they, they get also pleasure say from. really degrading oh. stuff yeah. too. Oh, like, and I'm like I'm trying to give you a <laughs> Tom to somebody. <laughs> Any femdom watchers? Because <laughs> I'm like I don't think there's anything sexual in it. It's literally just the whole spending thing. But I thought you said they get off on it. So it well, they get off on it, but there's like not like you sex don't have to do anything sexual between yeah. them, which I'm like that's strange. Sign me up. <laughs> yeah, but I I I totally thought he was just like sculpting the money into a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's what I thought Just was like happening. Just like slapping the twenty dollar butt. <laughs> you, like, you walk in, he's like beating the cheeks of like twenty dollar bills. You're like, oh. first You're of all, cheating. I'm disgusted by you. It's weird. I wish you cheated on me with a person because this is worse. Yeah, very weird. You making a doll out of money and sleeping with it is gross. All right, am I the asshole? Husband accused me of financial infidelity. Husband, 33 male and 33 female, have been married for 10 years together since college. Since starting out, we have made financial security a priority and have been able to achieve that, albeit with some good luck along the way. We both have good jobs, paying close to $200,000 each. Student loans were paid off within a few years. Both went to state schools with some scholarships, so didn't have a lot of debt to begin with. We live in a house I inherited from my grandmother, no mortgage, and don't have any credit card debt. We max out our 401ks and currently have 18 months of expenses in our emergency fund and are still adding to it. Our cars are both paid off and should be good for another five plus years and we don't have any credit card debt. Jeez, that's like the ultimate goal, I guess, right? That's awesome. We're living it. We manage our finances in a hybrid manner, joint accounts for bills and savings and separate accounts for our fund money. We each get a pretty generous money allotment the fund money is strictly for our individual expenses, hobbies, clothes, outings with friends, etc., and not for things like date nights, vacations, or larger joint purchases like household appliances and repairs which come out of our joint account. We also agreed that if either of us get any bonuses or have any side hustle income, those will go into our individual fund money accounts, unless the funds are needed for a larger expense such as a major home repair. In the terms of fund money, my husband is more of a spender than I am due to expensive hobbies, in particular golf and collecting sports memorabilia. And he also is more into designer clothing, which is fine, it's fun money. On the other hand, my hobbies are a lot less expensive, running, working out, reading, baking. In Boom. general, that sounds pretty cool. Running, it does not yeah. sound Oh, well, not, well, maybe fast walking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> side galloping. Side gallop. <laughs> side, side galloping, yeah, I would do that. You got a side gallop. I get tired after the first mile or two, mm -hmm. but, you know, mm -hmm. who else doesn't? <laughs> Sometimes you fall. <laughs> Shout, Shout out, out to the... Um, in general, I'm more introverted, and a great time for me is tea with a friend at one of our houses with homemade pastries. I've also been getting back into gaming lately. Ooh, a gamer. After setting it aside for much of the past decade while building my career, after realizing I had more than enough in my fun money account, I decided to overhaul my gaming setup oh, and get oh. myself a new PC, oh. desk, oh. and gaming chair. Oh, snap. Total cost about five thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a real Jeez. overhaul. However, upon hearing about the purchase, my husband is furious. He says he had no idea that I saved so much money and that I should have consulted him before spending five thousand dollars. I asked what difference it made if it was my own accrued fund money and not our joint funds, and he insisted that my accumulating this amount without telling him was a form of financial infidelity. 
He says that he lost trust in me and doesn't know what else I might be hiding. <sighs> he is demanding that I return the items that I purchased and deposit most of the funds into our joint account. Wait, what? No, he tripping. He wants to make a new rule that fund money accounts can't accumulate more than $2,000. What? And that any excess goes back to the joint account, a rule that would obviously favor him as a person who spends more of his allotment each month instead of saving up for something bigger. Nope. I feel like I'm being punished for being more of a day-to-day saver than spender. It wouldn't occur to me to demand to know how much my husband has in his fund money account right? or to try and micromanage what he spends it on. I wasn't hiding anything deliberately. He never asked about it until after I made the purchases. Still, maybe I should have been more transparent about my plans. So, am I the asshole? No, I don't. (laughs) So confusing, right? That story infuriates me so far. That... Yeah. Bro, what? You're getting mad at me just because I'm better with my money than you are? That's crazy. It always was my money. Like this, we created this elaborate system. I love the system. I the love way. the system. The system's love, amazing. I'm a fan of the system. It's well architected. I might like Copy in that situation. Yeah. I'm like, I'm about to try to get in that system. <laughs> but I'm like, yes, this is our individual accounts. We're like, this is ah, uh, then that's my money, and I can do whatever I want with it. Mm-hmm. I saved it up for, and I can do big purchases like that because I saved my money. You're just like golf club. <laughs> I don't know what golf people buy. Okay. But I'm like, you buy all those things, and what does it matter what I buy? Yeah. I didn't, because I'm like, financial infidelity and stealing it from the joint account and buying a gaming setup with that money, but she didn't do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and even to throw it back in his face, he should have just like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, to throw it, uh, if, not throw it back in his face, wow. but like, <laughs> That's what I was thinking before yeah, was like, that happened. Uh, I was like, I mean, maybe he likes her throwing it back in his face. No, but like, <laughs> g- golfing's so expensive. Like, it's easy to spend a rack just with like, just a bag alone. So it's like, wow. if you really wanted to add up all the stuff he's bought with his fund money, you're probably around the same price. He didn't do it at the same time. Yeah, he didn't do it at the same time. So that's the real thing. Don't ever spend large amounts of money. Do it a lot over a period of time. Yeah. Instead of all at once. That's that's insane, though. That's that's not fair at all. Yeah. Don't take it back. That, I think that's what, that's what made me mad, because I'm like, even if I did agree with him, which I don't, about feeling weird about her having all the money and saving it up, why take it back? Just saying, like, okay, that happened. I feel some type of way going in the future. Yeah. Let's change things. But I'm like, I have this new hobby that I'm excited about. I spend this money on. Mm -hmm. Take all that stuff back. And then I'm going to be mad at you for, like, now this is going to be a thing in a relationship where I'm mad that you made me give away the stuff that I wanted. So I'm like, this guy is the worst all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. So there's miscellaneous information here, too, before we go on to the next one. Husband and I have our own hobby slash office room in the house, so it's not like the gaming setup was going to be in his space that he uses. I don't usually game when my husband is home unless he's already busy doing something else. My biggest block of gaming time is typically when he's off playing golf. Also, I run 40 to 50 miles a week, so it's not like I'm generally sedentary. Um, I can't think of a good reason why he would object to me gaming or having a nice gaming setup in my own space in the house. I don't know. I, like, all around, just hearing the story, I'm like, so what's his problem? Yeah. Like, 40 to 50 minutes. Old. Yeah. I feel like that would take all my time <laughs> to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like if I was working and then I had to run 40 to 50, I wouldn't have any time to do anything else. It would take literally, so you're a runner. I have no idea, because if That's we have any crazy. avid runners in the chat... How long <clears throat> how long does that take you to run 40 to 50 miles a week? No, if- I have a coworker who's doing that and you trained to be in a marathon. He was doing like he was doing like 40 50. But how how many hours does that take up a day? <sighs> I feel like he was running like 3 4 hours. Wow. But I'm like that's him who's gotten good at it. Me running that same time, it would take me eight hours. It would take another full time job. Well, why would you start at 40? You're like, I'm going to be a I runner. I guess I'm going to do 48 miles 40 to 50 a hours, week. Yeah, miles a week. I would never do that. I can't even imagine my headspace that I got. 
I could be the happiest I've ever been. I'm never getting into running. Ever. Like, but I just, I don't understand. Oh, like, the, the, I, for me, I like, gaming's fun because it, like, stimulates, like, like my brain. But it's like, I wonder what running does for people. I just, it, there is something that it does for people. You get a runner's like, high. Yeah, you get the runner's high, and you, there's, once you push past that moment, you're like, oh, I'm tired, and you push past it, that's what they're going for. Mm. But most of us stop because we're like, this feels bad. I'm never going to reach <laughs> that point. I never will because I'm like, I don't want to push my body past that. <laughs> and they're like, I love this. This is the fun part. So top comments. Not the asshole. He sounds super controlling and greedy. My wife and I manage our finances in a similar way. She spends her money on whatever she wants, and I blow mine on outdoor stuff and video games. We have joint checking and savings for household expenses, kids, vacations, etc. I'd sit him down and tell him how he chooses to spend his own money is his business, and how you choose to spend yours is your business. He agreed to this arrangement and doesn't get to change the rules because he chooses to manage his money differently than you and you aren't going to return anything because he's acting like a spoiled man child who didn't get a new toy when you did Oh, mm. and she responded she said i actually have a lot more than five thousand dollars saved <laughs> oh i got money money we've had this arrangement for a few years and i typically only spend about five hundred dollars on my allotted fifteen hundred dollar a month maybe a bit more some months if i need to replace my running shoes buy other clothes and buy any or or have any outings with friends playing like concerts in that range so, we get to our first update. You know, I have a question now from, yeah. that, from that comment. So, if you have kids in this situation, because they don't have kids, right? They don't have kids. If you have kids, where does the money come? Like, if you want to buy your kid a gift, where does that money come from? Does that come from the joint? I feel like that would does come from joint. Does everything for kids just come from joint? Like or any... they would make a new, new account. A kid's account? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I I'm feel curious. like that I'm would like, be kids. Does that your would fun you, money that would go to, like toys for your kids or is your fun money like no this is just a me thing you know the answer to that sam you are you trying to use your fun money on your kids me yeah i mean maybe every once in a while you're like we're gonna go get some scooters that's my fun money and i'm like no that's me. coming out the, the group <laughs> uh give me your card <laughs> that's the group fund yeah because i'm like when we had these kids me and you had these kids so that's a <laughs> joint effort it should come from the joint account i agree i think that that should be a joint account i like that so there was an update before this. She gives a lot of information, but she gives a TLDR basically right beforehand. So I'm just going to read that, and then I'm going to read technically her second update. Okay, okay. So her first update is super summarized here. Husband told me that he's actually upset that he feels that I'm not professionally ambitious enough because I'm not on the executive track like he is. What? <laughs> And that this is from the other update. Oh my god! And that despite my working full time, he wanted me to cook fancier meals, set the table in a more elegant way, and dress up more for dinner. Yes, like a 1950s housewife. So this was the second update. So I thought more about it. The more his requests, demands really, were sitting poorly with me, I decided to try a little experiment over the weekend to see what would happen if I tried oh, to meet some of his story. demands. Not because I actually thought they were reasonable, but because I increasingly had the sense that the goalpost would just keep moving and that I was playing a losing game. Mm. So Saturday morning, I went to the salon for a glow up. Haircut, fresh yes. highlights, mini petty. Then went to the farmer's market to pick up fresh flowers for our table and assorted our gourmet ingredients. Saturday is usually our date night out, but I suggested that we stay in so I could make us a special dinner. Steakhouse style lobster bisque. Ooh. Okay. Bread basket with several types of rolls slash savory muffins made from scratch. Uh, from s- Crab oh. stuffed Come mushrooms. Are you kidding me? Come filet mignon. Au gratin potatoes, which is like the sliced potatoes with Not the cheese gratin, sauce. That's the fancy one. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm talking about? It's one. the sliced potatoes it's with like a cheese sauce over it and then like even more cheese on top of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. White chocolate mousse topped with raspberries. You lost me. <laughs> what? And for that reason, I'm out. Okay. All right. <laughs> I wore a lavender, his favorite color on me, sheath dress and high heels and fully done hair oh and gosh. makeup. For all that, I got a lukewarm. Thanks. It was tasty. And a kiss on the oh. cheek. Of course, I did all the servings and cleanup. Oh. Sundays, we usually go out, but he suggested that I make us brunch at home. So I made fresh Press coffee, mimosas with fresh squeezed orange juice, Belgian waffles with bananas foster topping, 
Eggs scrambled with Parmesan and fresh herbs from our garden. I'm in love. Roasted fingerling potatoes and maple glazed bacon. I wore a blue sleeveless sundress, wedge sandals, again, <laughs> did my hair and makeup. Again, all I got was, thanks, it's good. And no help with serving or cleanup. Afterwards, I asked him if this is what he had in mind when he critiqued me before. He said that it was a start, but that I was actually... Oh! <laughs> but that my I was... hand just involuntarily <laughs> went out to punch. <laughs> but that I was acting very entitled for wanting credit for basic adulting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Who who raised him? Who is this man? This is a menace to society. That is not a man. That is not a man. That is a monster. Oh my gosh. He then dropped a bomb that he was being so hard on me because he realized lately I had a lot to make up for due to being a low value woman. What? Is, oh, that. Never mind. That it, it all changes. Makes sense. It's it Red Pill. Makes he sense. makes sense. He's yeah. been watching Red Pill videos and he he's just on them. And Andrew Tate joints. Oh my god. I asked what on earth he meant by that and he said that it's because I wasn't a virgin when we met. What? Keep in mind, we started dating at 21. Neither of us claimed to be virgins or stated that that was an expectation, except for very religious people. Neither of us are. I don't think that most 21-year-old college students are virgins. I was upfront with him that I had two previous partners, my high school boyfriend. We went on our separate ways when we went to different colleges in different parts of the country, and another boyfriend I had my first year of college, and that's it. Both committed relationships and nothing casual. He then went on to say that because of my low value, I was going to need to make up for it for the rest of my life. That I didn't deserve monogamy or equal treatment. And that I was lucky that anyone at all wanted to marry me. And that he's connected oh. with someone from work. So if I wanted to keep him, I better step up. <laughs> I told him it doesn't sound like there's anything to keep. And if he no longer <laughs> loved me. Hey, yo. Or even liked me or respected me. Told him to leave. He said he would gladly go to his girlfriend's place. Please. I know so many people here have insisted that he was having an affair and I just didn't want to see it. That his complaints were really all part of the campaign to distance himself from me. I feel so foolish for just thinking he was going through a stressful time at work or that he genuinely wanted to work on our relationship. Anyway, I've taken the week off from work to get my head together, have an appointment with a lawyer tomorrow, canceled the marriage counseling appointment, but got a referral to an individual therapist who can do an intake session with me later this week. He and his girlfriend apparently are coming this evening to get more of his clothes and things, so I have to brace myself for that. <laughs> also, please be assured that I do not think that I am a low value in any way. I let my husband but make yeah. me think less of myself on some levels for a short period of time, but now I truly see it was him being the problem. Obviously, we don't share the same goals and values, and he has become someone that I don't recognize. I know the divorce won't be fun or easy, but I will be okay. Thank you all for helping me see that I was being played before I wasted too much more time in a marriage that was already over. Wait, there's... There's two more updates after this. It gets worse? <laughs> it gets yes. worse? How does it get worse That's, than this? There's two Dude. updates after this. Oh there's my god! That's updates. a natural conclusion. Yeah, that is. <laughs> I know, right? You just no. There's no way it gets worse than that. That that's like. But there's so much to unpack yeah, in that yeah. little chunk right yeah, there. Yeah, there is a lot. There is I'm, a lot. I was seen red. I was so mad. So is the husband red pill? Yeah. Okay. I think we've seen two different shades of red. <laughs> that's the one thing we all, like. I joke a lot about red pill and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, a little too much. Yeah. Because it's, it's the truth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go. The thing I don't like about Red Pill specifically is all these ideals that they're preaching. Because he was literally just reading them point by point. Like, you're low value because you were a virgin and you should be doing more to be the woman. I'm like, they're not realistic in like a real relationship. So if you just said all these things verbatim, you don't want to be in a relationship with them because there's not... Many women who are going to take that and like, mm-hmm, yes, I agree. I'm like, who are you? What value do you bring to this relationship? Right. Are you going to meet that reciprocally? I'm like, their problem is that they expect all this from women, but they don't have anything necessarily to give, to re- to give that. And just having money, it's not reciprocating 
all that you're asking <laughs> from that woman. Yeah, I know. That's just like red pill will always fail because it's not realistic in any way. The only person who would do that is just a woman who's like, you can literally tell me anything to do and I'll just listen. And there's some women out there. I'm like, but that's oh. not a woman probably you want to be in a relationship. Oh. oh. A woman who would accept that, I don't think most men would want to be in a relationship with a woman like that. Mm -hmm. in, in, if they think about it more, you're like, I just want someone that I tell everything to do and they don't reciprocate anything except being my servant, essentially. Why mm -hmm. would you want to be in a relationship with what you're proposing as a slave? Mm -hmm. Just a slave to cook you dinner, have sex with you, and be there ready for you whenever Take you need Take care of it. your kids. Yes, that's literally a slave. I don't want that in a relationship. And I don't think red people, red pill people think really down the road of how to sustain a relationship long term. Mm -hmm. They just get this idea of like, I can sleep with whoever I want and she serves me and it's great. It's great for me. Why would anyone, what are you giving that would make them want to be in that situation? Because most of the men out here, they're not making the money that would mm -hmm. necessitate get this, getting that reaction back. Mm -hmm. I'm like, boy, you make... Fifteen dollars an hour. <laughs> You're like, hey, do everything for me. I'm like, we're barely making it. <laughs> right. I hate <sighs> red pill people. Oh my gosh, this was upsetting. Yeah, yeah it just uh <laughs> And to think that this all stemmed from the fact that she could save money and buy. <laughs> yeah, that's where it started. He's like, <laughs> you have money on your own without me. It's like, oh well, yeah. Then all is true. It's kind it. of the system you set up. You just she knew she knew how to use it better. <laughs> oh, that's just. Yeah. I'm just hearing the comments. I'm like, I maybe he thinks this, maybe he doesn't. I feel like it is just to be like, I need to get out of this relationship. So I'm saying all the worst things because I'm guessing he wasn't like this this whole time they've been in a relationship. Like they've been in it, and then this money thing started it. Uh, he, he probably was cheating at that time, mm. and then was like, I'm just going to say the most off-the-wall stuff. I don't know if that's true or not, I but I'm like, so. how would he expect her to still be in the relationship after saying all this? I don't I don't think so. I think to uh, with Red Pill, you know, like, I feel like when people, like, it's like that new information type thing. Like, you know, when you get something new and you're like, oh, let's go gung ho on this. It, yeah. So it's like, I, I feel like that's the perspective he was coming from. He's like, he's like seeing all this stuff like, oh, I am a high value man. Yeah. Quote unquote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, she does need to be doing this. I don't know why she hasn't been this whole time. And so he just, got radicalized. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, where'd the girlfriend come from? Is it after he got radicalized? He's like, I need the. Mm -hmm. That's maybe because I don't know about that one. Because the red the, don't red pill like really think that they they think I should be able to sleep with anyone whoever, whoever yeah. I want, but you it'll make you a low value woman to sleep with more than one man. Yeah, see, once that radicalness comes in, you can just right. he's like I do like that. Yeah. You know, she has only ever had sex with me, and I can have sex with whoever I want. That sounds fair. <sighs> I hate it. Logistically, I'm curious and hope it comes out in the next updates. Where does the divorce money come up? Does that come from a joint account? <laughs> or does that come from the fund? Like, do we jointly pay for our divorce lawyers? To she do? does She does eventually get to that in okay, the final I'm very update. very curious about how does that, the finances work out when you got a that fun money? Because <laughs> this, this is, is not fun to this me. This is not but fun to me. It's fun to him. We're so. jointly divorcing, so we should jointly pay. <laughs> but I wonder if what you're saying is true, though, about how maybe he was just saying things to make her upset. I think what you're both saying is could be right. Yeah. I think he did get indoctrinated and does believe that. Yes, yes. And then I think he also was like, I don't want you anymore. So I'm just going to tell you things because even after he said all that stuff about you don't look good, you don't, yeah. your appearance is bad. You never make meals for me anymore. You don't even set the table. It's like, then you set the table. Set the table if you want to see beautiful If you want to see beautiful settings. flowers. And so she does all that and he's like, thanks babe. See, <laughs> if I knew, I'm like, I spent hours on this. Hours. And you get a, thanks. Because I'm like, I've dated people and they do like a little bit of thing. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Like, you want to be gassed up for the work. I see right. you did work. I'm right. going to gas you up for it. Because that's what people want. They want to be acknowledged. I'm like, thanks. And then the next day, he's like, could you make breakfast for us instead of us going to get brunch? Thanks, babe. Mimosas with freshly... Fr Fresh squeezed orange juice, uh, freshly ground coffee. I'm in love with you, right? <laughs> I'm in love with OP. 
Because it, it kind of reminded me of the story, that story we had where the the fiance was like, I was hoping you would be a weekend or a holiday dad. Yeah. But I'm like, for her to say that, she had to know that it was going to end. Like, there's no way he would have responded like, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's get married. Like, you're, you're almost saying things that you know the other person that was will weird. force you to break up with you. Because mm-hmm. I feel like I did that when I was younger. Where I'm like, I didn't want to break up with somebody because I'm like, it was, I'm trying to be a nice guy. So I'm just like, I'd be awful mm-hmm. to force you to break up with me. Yeah, it's a very immature way to do it. But I'm like, that's the way people do it. Because I don't want to be like, oh, I want to break up with you. I want you to be like, yes, I'm working out. I'm like, I get it. Yeah, I've been the best. Yeah, because you want to be in that mode versus it's over. I, I don't like you that much. Mm-hmm. We should be break up. Yeah, I I don't know. This story, like like you said, all this this red pill stuff, yeah. how all of a sudden she... I, I don't know if you guys caught this part. He said, you will never be able to... You should be making it up to me for the rest of your life. That's the worst. And I'm like, That's how did worst. how did she hurt your feelings so much that she has to make it up to you? What did, what did she do? Like, she... I don't know if she says it in the past thing or the thing that I didn't mention but she basically works from home and the reason why he's upset about the corporate stuff is because he basically works longer hours because I think he's like in finance I think she said Mm -hmm. so he's there really grinding it just to get that you know partner status Mm -hmm. and she makes the same amount of money doing IT or something yeah and she can work from home which is why she had all that time to like you know keep the house clean make food right because she does most of the cooking too so yeah it was just uh I think that's the most unsavory thing about a partner is if they are ungrateful for one, but if you talk to them about it and then they fix their their behavior. But if they're like purposely ungrateful, yeah. like about a lot of stuff, like all of the stuff that she does for you mm-hmm. and thanks, babe. Um, are the dishes going to be cleared for my poker game? Like, I can just assume that that's what he's doing, you know, because because she set the table. She cleaned up everything like. I mean, I so I started using HelloFresh non-spawn, and non-spawn. I made Please mashed potatoes this. and all gratin, not all gratin potatoes. Not all gratin. Okay. Not all gratin. Not all gratin. Um, I did that, and then I just fried some like or uh, pan seared some pork. Okay. And all they had me season it with was salt and pepper, but for me not making anything to using yeah. salt and pepper, I'm like, this feels very white of me. <laughs> Only using salt and pepper, but they had me. They had me throw some herbs in there I'll and butter. Some herbs and, and some butter. Garlic butter. No, they just have to use butter. Well. But they gave me sour cream for the for the perturters. All the sips. Uh, but yeah. But so even felt, making that, that yeah. was like an hour long. But when I made that, I was like, "This is so good." This is fire. And it was literally. Like maybe under ten ingredients, she made like six different things that from had scratch, all the time. From scratch. That was crazy. Actually, what if what if it was actually bad? And he was. Just <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what it tastes like. He, you can't because we don't know if she can cook or not. It sounded great. He's just she lying. Like she can cook, but he's lying. It's like it's actually bad. He's actually doing the nice thing. Where he's like, oh, it's yeah, great. It's, it's great. Thanks, babe. But it's like everything is trash. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so top comment. <laughs> I know this is going to be rough, but I'm not going to say I but I'm not going to say I'm sorry you're dealing with this because I'm on the other side of almost the exact same thing and I promise your life after getting rid of this man is going to be amazing. You're going to realize how much of your effort like Leech was stealing from you. Oh, you're past it. She's on the other side. I yeah. think so, yeah. I thought you were like I'm on the other side. I I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm the guy. This is me. I'm like, "Why are you coming to me? Like, promise me it's going to get better. It's going to get better, I'm babe." That guy doing uh, I, yeah, I was like, "Wait, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, this second update is just going like, to be him comedy." <laughs> I'm like, "He's not in the comments." <laughs> Um, 
I'm on the other side of almost the exact same thing. And I promise your life after getting rid of this man is going to be amazing. You're going to realize how much of your effort this leech was stealing from you. And it's going to feel like a huge weight lifted off of you. The only regret you will have is that you didn't do it sooner. And she responded, yeah, although it's been a huge shock, I'm actually glad things have come to a head so quickly instead of getting dragged out. I'm glad that he fessed up in a sense anyway. Before we actually started investing in marriage counseling, it's only been a couple of days since the big revelation in his departure, but I have already realized how soul-sucking the marriage had been and how much better off I was. Mm. So, third update. Can you do the sound? Oh, yeah, I didn't do it for the other one. It's just so soothing. Was it loud? No, No, I cracked my ankle. Oh, oh. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh my god. It's just like bent like yeah. this underneath the table. Yeah, he shows his <laughs> foot's dangling. I'm like, bro, it's like, I'm like we should stop. Yeah, You're like, no, I want to hear like it. like it was fine, but his foot, it doesn't work. His face is just slowly getting like yeah. pale. Yeah. I pass it. Yeah, <laughs> we're like, no, keep reading. It's cool. His foot's not attached, Maddie. His keep foot's reading. over there. Keep reading. This oh my fine. god. It's fine. It's fine. This is the first time this is going to happen. Oh, Just keep reading. Oh my god. Like, so what happens? I need to know what happens next. That's dedication. That's how good this is. We're on FaceTime is. as he's in the yeah. ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're in the ambulance filming. Yeah. And that's facts. It's and Mary, she just keeps working from unconscious. She's like, no! And he goes <laughs> that's crazy! <laughs> My IP, please? Thank yeah, you, thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> Anesthesia? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> We're in the surgery room, and Maddie's still like... She has a soundboard, she's like... <laughs> so he was supposed to come get his stuff on Tuesday evening a couple of days ago, but he told me that last minute he couldn't because Amy, his girlfriend, wasn't feeling well. Ew. Some people called it in the comments, but yes, she's pregnant, apparently. Don't punch her. Oh my god, there is Don't a, punch This her. does deserve another update. <laughs> this absolutely <laughs> does. Throw punch her. Amy's not pregnant. He told me this on text, so I have proof of the affair in writing. What? It's not just his word against mine. Hey, yo. Anyway, I didn't want him to keep jerking me around on the schedule for whatever reason, so I told him that I'd pack his stuff Mm. for him and arrange for movers. I think it's better that way. I didn't really want him slash them in the house. I already had arranged for a friend to come over on Tuesday when he and Amy were supposed to come by, so the two of us already spent the evening packing up his clothes and other personal effects. The movers came yesterday and got the boxes and the furniture items he wanted. He didn't want much, just the stuff from his home office and his dress as apparently Amy's apartment is small. I provided <laughs> <Downgrade>. a, <laughs> okay, <shade. Downgrade. laughs> I provided a detailed inventory and photos of everything which he approved so he can't say that I broke or otherwise ruined his stuff. After that, yesterday I went to the clinic to get STD tested. Won't have the results for a week or so, but thankfully I haven't had any symptoms no. and met with my lawyer who said I have a good case for grounds of adultery and mental cruelty if I want slash need to go that route. At the minimum, it's leveraged to get him to settle quickly and quietly. Also, lock down all the finances within the perimeters provided by the lawyers so he can't empty our joint funds Mm. or take anything that belongs to me, changed account beneficiaries and all that fun stuff, changed the locks to the house too. Mm. I decided to take the advice of some of the commenters and I'm getting rid of the bed and other bedroom furniture i shared with him i'm donating it someone is coming this afternoon to haul it off and i'm going to completely redecorate the bedroom to my taste that will take a bit staying in one of the guest bedrooms in the meantime i'm also taking a spa weekend leaving tomorrow morning (laughs) and back sunday just to get the change of scenery before i have to go back to work next week and yes even after buying the gaming setup i have plenty of fun money left in my account to afford (laughs) my lawyer's retainer and redoing the bedroom as well what? as my getaway. How much money does she... With plenty left over. She, uh... Never mind, I'm going back. I'm kind of on the house. <laughs> <laughs> she had a whole... He was insecure for a yeah, reason. Yeah. Here's to she frugality. To leave. <laughs> Here's to frugality when it, com- yes. when it counts. Mm-hmm. Those are the main updates for the moment. I'm doing better than expected, I think, and realizing more day by day that it wasn't really a good marriage, or at least not for the last couple of years when he yeah. started expecting me to do everything around the house and all other emotional labor of running our lives outside of work. With no help and little to no gratitude, Amy sure is going to have her hands full. Um, yeah. Amy, Amy. I wonder how he's gonna do with a, a child. Like a baby. That, that's gonna be crazy. I know you dodged a bullet. You didn't have kids with the man. Yeah. Yeah. 
even though divorce because their lives are so ingrained yes, but even though even if they had to do it they don't have kids to you know worry about and he ain't even got two thousand dollars in his account <laughs> so he can't get a good lawyer he that's got, crazy she's renovating her, her whole bedroom <laughs> She's got the gaming set up. She's got a lawyer. With fun money. And she still got, this is the fun money. This ain't even this the real saved money. up money. money. Yeah. Oh, He's God. like, can you please open the joint? Again? I need a lawyer. <laughs> it's like, use your fun money. <laughs> that's what it's there for. Right, that's what, this hey, is. You want to go like, golfing? I'm having fun now. Are you having fun? Because I'm having fun. Have a great time. <laughs> go Cheers get in reality. Amy's little shoebox apartment. <laughs> And I live in this luxurious house. <laughs> so, were you guys expecting the pregnancy? No. I wasn't expecting the pregnancy, but now I'm scared for this last update because she said the STD that. testing and won't have the results for a oh, week. No. And I'm like, it can't get worse than this. Yeah. It cannot get worse than herpes someone is be- worse. Herpes <laughs> is worse. <laughs> herpes is pretty bad. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> the gift you can't give away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't give it away. But you also You can keep give it, it away, but you keep it at you the same it. time. So it is a gift you freely give and also keep. <laughs> Forever. For I, I'm glad she's out of this. This is wild. It's crazy, and to think it all started with him saying you spent too much for a gaming. You won the game, <laughs> and this is what started. Like I'm just gonna play a little Sims, right? Little she's Sims-y. a Sims girly, and she's like, this all transpired out of that. She's pregnant. <laughs> Amy's pregnant. Amy's pregnant. I bet you her setup is so lit though, like. Who Amy set up? Amy got no, 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 Amy no. got a little laptop <laughs> and she's got a little LED. Light. Amy's not a gamer. I don't feel like Amy's, Amy's a got streamer. A <laughs> Amy's a streamer in her corporate world. Yeah, yeah. She's in she's finance. Like, mm-hmm. Join my team. Wait, did we? Do we know information about Amy? Is Amy from his Amy's job? Amy's a coworker. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, so that's so when so in the second update when he was like, plus I've met somebody from work. Oh. Amy is his coworker, and they both work in finance. And apparently, you'll. I think they say this in the, the the fourth update, so I'll leave that. But they they have a very similar job. They have like the same job. Oh, Amy. but she's younger. I believe. Of course she is. There's no way she's old. There's no way. That's the one thing I knew. Yeah. She's younger. Yeah. This guy. This guy. This guy. There's people out here like this though. Mm-hmm. This is not uncommon. He's a silly guy. He's a silly, silly Sam. He's a goof. He's a goofball. He's a goober. He's a goober. He's a goober. He is a goober. Uh, okay, so goober. we ready for the final update? I'm no, not. no. Beca- the button. Please. You're not ready for it? Okay, well, there's a there's a top comment yeah, here. Yeah, give us a top comment because I can't. You're rocking this. Uh, and <laughs> you're rocking that's this. That's it. It can't get worse than this. No, you're rocking this and you're a class act. And as not a class act personally, I can't help thinking it would be ironic <laughs> and ironic injustice if the baby this supposed virgin is, is having turns out to not be his. And I know you still had to kick him out. The storm is coming for Amy and it wants a five course meal. Because I'm a petty patty. <laughs> <laughs> and so if I'm in this situation... Things are going definitely the other way. I'm not Nuclear. Itemi- I'm not itemizing his things. Yeah. I'm like, I threw it all in a bag and now it's on the front yard. On fire, you know? Waiting to exhale. I mean, maybe fire. not that because oh. then Y'all seen waiting to exhale? Nope. Yeah, you guys are too young. Nope. But she threw his stuff, burned his clothes. Yeah. I mean that probably wouldn't have been good for the case. I wish that was an option on The Sims when they break up. You and the Sims. Well, you brought it up. Before this, Maddie <laughs> told me about things that are happening in Sims life, and I'm like, I did not know the Sims went this in depth. Mods are crazy on the Sims. There's teen pregnancy in her Sims. I game. brought MTV's teen uh, teen mom to my. my Which world. you said is still going. Yeah, I haven't is watched sixteen it in a long and pregnant time. still a show. Sixteen and pregnant, I don't know, but teen mom, teen, teen mom, teen mom too, teen mom OG, teen mom OG. I think those are a Wait, thing. Teen mom OG is. Is that just the original cast? I think it yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. Then, no, so Teen just... Mom was a show. Yeah. And then Teen Mom 2 was a show. And then Teen Mom OG came back. Because I think there was a few new people because there were some people that didn't Wait, what's the difference on? between Teen Mom and Teen Mom 2? New cast. Oh. So Teen Mom 
with multiple seasons following those cast. Team, yeah, Team Mom was multiple seasons, and then... But they would randomly bring new people in. No. Oh. It was, like, the same four moms. So it wasn't, then, like, 90 Day Fiance, mm-mm. where they were, like, have the same... Okay. No, so you see the kids grow up. The kids are, like, 12, 13, 14 now. So even, like, if I'm on MTV and I yeah. see it, I'm like, that's how old they are? Like, it's kind of crazy. That's the weird thing about, like... Well, not social. It's kind of like the same thing as social media stars where you're growing up with these people. Uh, mommy vloggers? Yeah, and you're like, you see the kid, and like they're almost celebrities because you see stories about the daughter of Teen Mom star season one is in jail. You're like, you're just a normal person. You didn't sign up for this, and now you're getting <laughs> news stories about you doing things. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The whole reality show star thing is the weirdest thing to me. You've been yeah. thinking about like Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo's an adult. What? Alana from Honey Boo Boo. She's an adult now. How old is she? Well, I think she was like a teenager. I mean, she might be like 19, 20, but mm-hmm. her sister I forget her, Pumpkin, her sister Pumpkin who seems like she's really cool. Mm-hmm. Her, She basically took her in and has been raising her for a period of time. But yeah, she lives with, Alana lives with Pumpkin. I forget Pumpkin's real name. Pumpkin. The only pumpkin I know is from uh, Flavor of Love, <laughs> and she spit. I think pumpkin spit on someone else in their face. That's like one of the OG love shows where Flavor Flav was with different Oh, women. Flavor Flav! And they were... <laughs> yeah, boy! I'm like, who are all... How do they get this many women to say they want to be with Flavor Be with Flav? that man. With flavor, flavor, I'm like this dude, bro. Because I didn't not realize very charismatic. I don't even think so. I'm like, what is it about him? Well, also when his dating show was coming out, wasn't he already like super older? Yeah, he was older. He was. He like, was a lot like probably he was like not, early forties. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was and, like, and it was like, all these young women. They're like, but I'm like looking at these women. I'm like these women, <laughs> this is not like bachelorette casting. These are like the women. They're like they find in these women. Everywhere they're like <laughs> grocery store. Hey, you yeah, want to yeah. be with Flavor Flav? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to go there? Like, yeah, I love Flavor Flav. I love Flavor Flav. Oh, when they would kiss him. Ooh. Right. Anyway, let's get back right. to this update then. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I like that sound. I want to use that yeah. sound for one of the <laughs> soundboards. Okay, so this update was a day ago. This is the probably this is now. this is the final update. Latest update was accused of financial infidelity. Husband was actually cheating. Um, actually, I didn't completely over that point. I'm like, that is a normal thing when someone just accuses you of infidelity. I don't know where they're almost always cheating. Cheating they, themselves. It's almost their guilt speaking yeah. out. Okay, so I'm updating again here because a lot of kind people have been checking in with well wishes and to see how I'm holding up. Sorry for not updating sooner, but as soon as I got back from the spa weekend, I mentioned in my last update, I dove into working with my attorney on the divorce settlement. I didn't think it would be wise to put my legal business on the internet, however anonymously, with the legal issues up in the air. The good news is that we were able to come to an agreement pretty quickly, Mm -hmm. and everything is now executed, just waiting for the court date, which would take another couple months, but my lawyer says the agreement is airtight. It wasn't quite as favorable as most of all of you lovely folks probably would have wanted for me, but I was highly motivated to get it done fast. I did everything that really mattered to me. First, the house that I inherited from my grandmother is 100% mine. Inheritance. Inheritance. <laughs> um, along with all of the furnishings and other effects in the house. My own retirement accounts and my fun money accounts are all mine as well. Hey. Otherwise, I did have to give him 75% of the other cash assets. Although it wasn't on the title, he did contribute substantially to the large renovation we did, as well as the upkeep since then. And the house appreciated very substantially in the years since we moved in. It's fine, as I still have plenty of money, especially as I'm quite frugal most of the time. Yeah, you and are. Can, <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you and are. can rebuild uh, cash savings quickly. Our agreements also state that neither of us has claim on each other's past, present, or future earnings, so in case something happens and he loses his job before the court date, I won't be liable for any alimony. This is actually overall a very good deal for me and gives me a lot of security. 
in case anyone is wondering how we got this done so quickly, our state allows divorce on mutual consent grounds, which basically allows for a quick divorce without a legal separation period if the parties come to an agreement about all the finances and assets. Given that Amy is pregnant, my soon-to-be ex, let's call him Joe, yes, like the psychopath in the show You, Yay! was also a psychopath. He's a psychopath. He was also very motivated to not drag this out. <laughs> now for the real dirt of this update. Oh, oh no. Last weekend, shortly after all of our papers were signed, oh. Amy reached out to me. No, yeah. Amy, get out of here. <laughs> Lose your... Don't do this, Amy. (laughs) She asked if we could meet and talk. Amy, no. Perhaps I should have declined, but I will admit I was curious about the 24-year-old prodigy. No. And until recently, a virgin. I'm curious, too. Person who was Joe's affair partner. So I agreed to meet her for lunch. Not affair partner. I don't like that (laughs) phrase. So the first thing is, Amy is very pregnant, like third trimester pregnant. Oh. Hey. She confirmed she is due in mid-October, which means the affair has been going on a whole lot longer than Joe let on. Mm. Whatever, it's water under the bridge as the divorce is almost final. However, after some polite but chilly pleasantries, she asked me, when am I going to be moving out of the house? What? Because- Amy! <laughs> Stop. Amy! Stop. Stop. You're being lied to, Amy. (laughs) Stop. Because surely, Joe has been patient enough with giving me time to get my life together. And her apartment is small and they're needing space for the baby. Um, what? I told her she must have been mistaken as the house is mine, inherited from my grandmother, but asked her, what else has Joe told you about? Yeah, tell me everything, Joe, because Joe's (laughs) wilding that you made that lie and that he thinks this is going to work out. Yeah. And... (laughs) Lie after lie, Joe lies, that is, tumbled out of her mouth. Along with crumbs of real story, these gems include, well, it's true that she and Joe met at work, but it was about a year ago when they were both interviewing for the executive training program they're now in. Amy said, though they first became friends before getting together romantically. Apparently, Joe told her that he was legally married, but he had been separated in spirit and living separate lives since 2020, but that he didn't want to kick me out and make me homeless during the pandemic because I didn't make much money and we live in a high cost of living. Joe told Amy that we met in our early 20s when he was mentoring me in the GED prep program, (laughs) that I was a high school dropout who was struggling with addiction and essentially that he rescued me. Rescued me. Wait, he's been lying, lying. That don't even make no sense. Helped me get clean, tutored me for my GED, and has been supporting me through gradually working on college classes. He told Amy that I was working on prepping for an IT career and was currently making 45000 as a help desk technician and that he wanted to make sure that I could at least afford a studio apartment. He said that she's making that now. He also told Amy that that we had been separated because I had relapsed and he couldn't have a meaningful relationship with a drug addict. Uh, Lies, 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 all of this lies. My entire history of drug use is occasionally sharing a joint in college, maybe four to five times total. Never anything harder. (laughs) Druggy. That's what he said, too. He said, ooh. Four or five times? You non-virgin. You weed? You non-virgin. Stay off the weed, Yo, chill with the insults, (laughs) Brandon. It is true that Amy was a 24-year-old virgin prodigy. She seemed dismayed that Joe had told me that, though at least the virgin part, said it wasn't a moral issue. She really just was focused on school and work and didn't make time to date, and that generally guys her age seem more interested in casual hookups, especially the younger finance bro types, and she wasn't interested in that, but that Joe took the time to get to know her and was actually interested in a meaningful relationship with her. I asked her if the pregnancy was planned. She said, no, of course not. But it was a miracle because Joe had a vasectomy, so they took that as a sign that they should keep the baby. Um, no, Joe did not have a vasectomy. (laughs) He just wanted to go in raw, man. (laughs) As we were planning to be a child-free couple, I suggested it a couple times over the years. He firmly stated that he didn't want to alter his body like that. So he left the birth control as my responsibility. Of course he did. Of course, yeah. (sighs) That only makes sense. So it really does seem that Amy is pretty blameless here. I mean, those of us who have been around the block would likely know to believe a guy who claims to be separated but is still legally married and living with his wife. But without her having any any dating slash relationship experience, I can see where she would have taken him at his word about everything. After all, I didn't know anything 
was amiss with Joe until a couple of months ago, and I was married to him. Of course, Amy didn't want to believe me, and I don't blame her for that either. After all, she's been in a relationship with Joe for close to a year and is seven months pregnant with his baby, who is coming soon, ready or not. I couldn't immediately refute everything she said, but showed her a couple of things. First, a picture of me in my late teens with my grandmother in front of the house, <laughs> and also my LinkedIn. <laughs> grandmother this posted you? up like. <laughs> this is me. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma's doing something outrageous in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put <in your> car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I couldn't uh, my link and also my LinkedIn profile, which shows my current job and education, told her to do what she wanted with that info and to please stay safe and take care of herself and then said our goodbyes. Yes, it was all very odd and unexpected and surreal. Did you hug? I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> Sorry this is so long, but figured those following my tale would be interested in this turn. I'm not sure if I will update again, maybe in a year or so, when I've truly processed everything with lots of therapy and then hopefully on to living my best life. As for Joe and Amy, it's up to them to find whatever their path is. I do hope she wises up and leaves him, but I'm sadly not confident about that. I'm sure that he'll be able to spin all of this in his favor because that's what he does, but I also can't make it my problem anymore. That's it. Maddie, stay on this. We'll get reminded of anything that happens. On <laughs> of anything post. that she... But it's going to be I in a need, year. I need it. How we'll, am I going to remember we'll to check this, this in a year? story in a year. We have to remember. Send me the story. I'll stay on the story. <laughs> okay. Now, this is wild. <sighs> yeah. This is a movie. This is a movie. This is a yeah, movie. Yeah, that's a movie plot. Like, I wouldn't... Like, I always saw that in movies where the, the other woman would talk to the wife. I'm like... Who would do that in real life? I always thought it was a movie thing, but there are people actually out here like... <laughs> it happened. Yeah, calling up like, can I speak with you? I'm the other woman. She's like, you know what? I'm curious. Which I'm glad you are because I, I needed all that information. He's been... He's like, yeah, I married this drug addict woman who dropped out of high school. I got her on her feet. She has a job now because of me. This is full lies. That's Did, crazy. I and wonder he, if, she lied, if he lied about the saving too. Like her being able to save more money. Yeah. Well, I think he did because he said that she's only like an assistant. Oh yeah, making forty five k a year she's right only now. Living based on me, <laughs> I take care of her, which is why I don't want to kick her out of the house because of the high cost of living. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that's so horrible. And I could see being a young yeah. If you haven't been in a relationship, you're young and you're seeing you're like this guy is so sweet. Like he has to deal with all this crap from his horrible from wife. his horrible wife, and he's like. He's just doing it out of the goodness of his heart. I bet he'll treat me like I'm a good woman. Like he treats me so well as so it is. So he'll treat me better. Oh my God. And I think the craziest thing is the fact that she was like, it was a miracle baby. We were, he had a vasectomy. <laughs> like that is crazy. The wife is like, huh? <laughs> it's not funny, but that's just a crazy yeah. thing. Yeah. What Brandon said, he wanted to hit raw. He didn't want to wear a condom. I'm surprised about all of the lies. There's so many lies. It's not There's just, so it's not many just like lies. one lie. Like, oh, yeah, she did that. But I'm like, he made up her whole background. He made up having a vasectomy. He's lying about everything. I just want to know what happens when she finds out that they're not moving into that house. That's what I need to well, see. Well, yeah, to, I mean, to a certain extent, I wonder. What's she, he, What's he going to come out and say? He's going to keep lying the rest of his freaking life. I mean, he's going to lie, lie, lie. But I don't I don't know. Like she said, I hope that this woman eventually figures out that he's lying. But I think it's going to take a long time. And she's attached to him yeah, at least yeah. for the next yeah. 18 years. Your first relationship, you lost your virginity to him. You're, you're attached. What I don't know is he probably never expected them to talk. He's making up lies that can easily be refuted just by talking to her. So I'm like. He, she probably comes back. She's like, "So I talked to your yeah. ex." Yeah. He's like, "Wait, don't believe anything wait, she what? says." She's, she's talking a, about everything. She's, like, she's a drug yeah. addict. She's yeah, a drug addict. Talking, you know how much how bad weed is? Doing it five times. That's awful. She relapsed. Yeah, she relapsed. She did another weed again. But well, the thing is, I'm like, I feel like for her, for her to reach out to his ex wife. I feel like that shows some ambition where she's like, okay, you're not getting the job done. I guess I'll well, do she's it. She's a prodigy. She's, she's a, a prodigy. She's a 24-year-old, old, not anymore virgin prodigy. She gets things done. Yeah. And so when her boy, he can't handle this because 
he's been dealing. It's been so hard for him. So I'm so gonna step hard for in, him. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be like, hey, I'm going to fix this. Let's get our house, boo. Can you move out? Because you see, we in a closet and we're <laughs> tiptoeing by each other because this apartment's so small. We need to get in our house, boo. I wonder why she didn't think that was suspicious, though, that he moved in with her. Like, <laughs> yeah. where are his funds no, to be like, I'll get an apartment for us or at least a hotel or something. He's saying, he's like, he was like, I'm letting her stay there so she can get through this time. Okay. We're getting over it. We're going to move in the house, but I'm just going to stay with you. It doesn't make sense to to spend more money when this is our house. I guess. But I don't know what long term is because I'm like, <laughs> I see the lie working there. But that's what I don't get about liars when they make up a, such an outrageous lie that they can't back up. And then how do you live life knowing that that lie is going to come out? That's what would scare me. You how know, do you like avoid something like this in the future? Like all of the people that are listening oh. is there any <laughs> advice that we can give to people or people in the comments that you can give to everyone else listening like what is what is the story what is the takeaway because i feel like the takeaway is don't trust somebody at their word you need to like have something to back it up because she trusted him at everything he said and everything he said was a lie yeah 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 first of all especially in the situation because i'm like i've been in a similar situation where I had initially talked to someone who was married. Mm -hmm. They were still in marriage. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. Don't ever get in a relationship with someone who is married legally. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew that. Oh, okay. Because we were just talking as friends, and then it was, like, going more, and she was having issues with her husband. Oh, Oh, yikes. Yeah. And so I'm like, it was, like, becoming that. But I'm like, don't ever get in a relationship until they're legally divorced. Uh Uh-huh. That might be tough. You're like, they can say all the things. We're like, and it could be true, too. Like, we're not... We're not intimate. We're like living separately. Everything. I'm like, don't do it until it's legal. That's because there's still always until it's legal. I'm like, I don't know if in your mind you're ready to be divorced. Even if you're saying all these things to make me feel good, I need you to make it legal so I know you're at least serious that you're taking the actual steps. Because people can say anything. Did you have to find that out the hard way? Yeah, I yeah. had to find out the hard way. Uh. She actually did get divorced, and it it didn't work out for other reasons. But I'm like. I couldn't I couldn't trust necessarily everything she was saying because I was only hearing it from her point of view. I'm definitely not talking to him. I wasn't talking to the other person. So I'm like, I don't know what's actually going on. Really. I'm just hearing this from you. Yeah. So I'm like, that would be my first thing. If, if you're t- somehow talking to someone who's married, wait till it's legally done and have them show you. Don't let them say like, yep, it's divorce. Because I'm like, divorce ain't quick too. So if you just said we're getting divorced and then a week later like, we're divorced, then I know you're lying. Yeah, it doesn't take it takes months. <laughs> months. Mm-hmm. So until you wait like that, three months. Yeah, I'm like most of it's like six months to a year to get divorced. Yeah, she said it's it's technically done, but it's not gonna get finalized by the courts within like right a half a year or something. So I'm like, wait till it's done legally. That's the first thing you can do in that situation for Amy. Yeah, wait. And I know you don't want it. It's not romantic the way you want to just start. I'm like, no, wait. So, top comment, holy crap, glad the trash took itself out. OP says, me too. I'm actually so glad Joe started negging me because otherwise I might not have known for a long time. Although, it might have been difficult to conceal a baby for too long. And somebody else says, yeah, the negging uh, in the original post was so bizarre. Even aside from the stupid virgin bit and wanting someone who is a super housewife and a corporate mover and shaker and also fashionable, well, put together is just insane. Nobody can do all that and still have time to sleep. And then she said, I think I've determined that because Amy's pregnancy was progressing, he was just starting to get nervous about how he would juggle everything and decided to preemptively blow up the marriage in order to get the upper hand. So none of these were genuine critiques that they were just designed to throw me off balance, which is what you said in one of the stories. But I mean, I guess it was in a different story. Oh my gosh. What a crazy episode. So was it worth it listening to just one story technically? I hope everyone else- five more stories. (laughs) We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> he got traumatized.